okay? Now let's see a problem. When the page just visible and I attempt click on this element items, the page is slowed to the data page. And this is because of the JavaScript is not really execute and modify the elements. To do this, we're gonna change the visible status to the value. Let's override another method called on page start. So we're gonna hide the web view until it finished load the page. Let's say web view dot set visible and the parameter is gonna be invisible. And the page finish, we're gonna show it back. Okay, right now we have the link. By this, we're gonna do scrapping and display with the new design layout. So we're gonna create a new activity. So let's call this a read activity. And then we're gonna design a layout which have a title, thumbnail, screen, camera, and battery. So I'm gonna place an image in a drawable to put as a placeholder image. And now we're gonna create a linear layout to wrap all the content inside. Width and height, it should be much parent. And the orientation should be vertical. And this should be add more padding to have a good look. Let's say a 15 dp. So the top layout here, we're gonna put the text view for the title. and the ID. And then the image thumbnail. And the ID is gonna be called uh, IMG view. And now we're gonna create another linear layout inside this layout to wrap the information about the screen, camera, and the battery. And this orientation should be horizontal with the matching top 15. For the left side, we want to show the lapel screen and the right is the text that we should be display from our code behind. Now we're gonna copy this linear layout and just change the text and the ID. Okay, well, we're gonna go to the read activity Java class and we're gonna find those text view by the ID to display the data later on. So let's say final text view title. And find view by ID. So I'm gonna copy those and just change the name and the ID reference. Then we need a variable to get a data from main activity. 
So we're going to get intent value via the name. Let's say it's data. At this, we will get the data when the user click on the products in the product list. So let's go to the JS class and get link methods would be called when the user click items. Now we're going to instant new intent to open up the read activity class. And we're going to put the link with the attribute name data. And then we're going to call the method start activity. So now we're going to making scrapping too. For the first, we're going to doing on the separate threads to prevent the freeze UI. So let's say a new thread. And we're going to implement runnable interface. And now we need the JSON dependencies for a scrapping data. We can go to the jsoup.org, just click on download. And then we're going to copy this Gradle and pass it in our Gradle file. Then we click the sync link here. Go back to our class and we're going to define the JSOP connection and the link we're going to pass it from the main activity. And this doc variable would hold the document of the XTML. So now let's go to the browser and check the elements that we want. For the title, we can extract from the H1 element which have this class name. So I'm going to copy this class name. And now let's say doc dot select. And then we're going to put the CSS selector. And to get the text, we're going to call method text. And this will return a string as the title. Next, we can check the elements screen display, which have a two. One is the resolution and one is the size. And as you can see here, these elements, we have this thing by the attribute values. So let's say a doc dot select and the CS selector, which should be opening a square bracket and the attribute name and its value. And this selector means we want the elements which match the attribute and the value. Well, the next is going to be the same. We just change only the uh, value. The camera is the same too. Just only change the value. For the last is battery as well. And now it's about the thumbnail. So let's check that. We can see this image elements is the child elements of this elements, which is specific ID. So we're going to extract via this one. Let's say uh, docs.select. And the ID inside the elements should be the image element. And then we want the value of the attribute SOC which contain a URL image. And now this will run another thread. So to update in the UI, which run on the method, we're going to implement a method run on UI thread. And now we want a data passed to the UI. So we're going to create a POJO class. Let's say this uh, GSMA for GSMA Arena. And the field should be the title, image URL, display size, display pixel, and the battery. And 
and then we're gonna generate getter setter. And now we're gonna set the data into the objects by installing the GSM object. And then we're gonna set data to the setter. And then for the update UI, we're gonna pass the values to the text view and the IMAP view. For display image, we're gonna use the Pygasol dependency. So let's go and find the Gradle. So I'm gonna copy and paste in the Gradle. Then we're gonna sync the Gradle again. Now we're gonna set the image to the Pygasol. Then finally, don't forget call the method start to start the thread. And now we're gonna run this for testing. We're gonna click on this phone and open up the read activity. We're gonna see the data. And we can go to the next peg or do the same thing. And it works all the time. Now I'm gonna summary what we have done again. In the main activity, we set the web view client to prevent the page is loaded into another browser. And then we're gonna override the two methods. The important one is gonna be on page finish to inject the script with the methods when the page is loaded. For the page start, we're gonna hide the web view from a user click. When the finished load, we're gonna display it back. At this one, we will tell the JavaScript to able to invoke a method that we have created in a separate Java class. And that class, we have a method get link. And we can create as many methods as we want just by adding this annotation. Then we add into the JavaScript interface with that class and we're gonna set name with it. The name is importantly to identify this class have the methods to let the JavaScript call out. For the name, you can set into whatever you like, but remember, when you change this one, we have to change the script too. And about this one is the method name in the Java file. So the last, we're gonna send the link into the main activity which is scrapping detail page that we have already for implemented. And we're gonna instead intend to put the context and the read detail class. We're gonna put extra with the name as the data and the link. Finally, we're gonna call the start activity and we 
paste the intent inside that to open the read activity. Then in read activity, we are gonna create a thread to scrape and update back to the UI components with the Pojo class. And now we have done how to pass the link from the JavaScript and call the method in the Java class to activate the scrapping detail page. Hope this would help you guys. So don't forget to give a subscribe and share my video, be updated, and see you in the next video.